Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. We're back at the NARBC Arlington Reptile Show and today's guest is Bob Clark. And this is one of the great things about coming to shows like this. I mean, Bob Clark is a legend in the reptile keeping world. And you'll find that most people in the reptile keeping world are happy to talk and, and spend some time with other folks in the community. So we're, we're fortunate to have Bob on today. And uh, I asked him to bring over some blue hypo and some other of his beautiful snakes that he's produced. We'll talk about some of his beginnings getting into snakes, back at the beginning, like a first albino python ever, first morph of a python ever. He produced it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good day. You're watching Triple B TV. For people who want to know. How did you get to be where you're at now? From the, like, what started you? Oh, I can tell you exactly. <laughs> I uh, I liked um, you know I always liked uh, reptiles. I like like uh, like I guess everybody here. And uh, it's uh, uh, I kept some things. I was breeding some Burmese pythons back in the in the uh, early 70s. And uh, and I thought, hey, that's a big deal. You you're making your own snakes. You know, I'd, uh, it, it it was from a time where we thought. Uh, most people just kept things. I kept one of these. I'll keep one of those. And uh, you know, at some point, I realized I I can make these at home. I can make my own snakes. And so I started breeding Burmese pythons, and all good and uh, 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 enjoying life. And then I got a hold of that first albino Burmese python, and uh, that just changed the course of my whole life. I can tell you, this week, 35 years ago hatch the first albino Burmese pythons. So I, I remember seeing that original snake. Tom Crutchfield had it on his list. I'd seen it a few months before in National Geographic. And I thought, you know, you can breed Burmese pythons. What if you had that? Maybe you could make some of those. And I, I, I obsessed over the thing. I couldn't think of anything else. All I could think of is if I could just get a hold of that, that animal. And uh, it showed up on Crutchfield's list. We made a deal. Uh, I got it, bred it, like I say, 35 years ago this week, baby albinos. So the, the, the albino Burmese, that was kind of what set you apart in that, well, you, nobody else was really doing it like you were. It was, it, it was, it was uh, yeah, this, this, this thing that we have today didn't exist then. Nobody was breeding animals, but it was, it was the first python morph to be produced. So, uh, uh, yeah, I was... It's kind of a big deal. I thought so. And yeah, I think that a lot of people consider that to be a big deal. Anybody yeah, involved I, I in I walked breeding? around all puffed up for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you kind of deflated since then a little bit? Uh, a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was, I was uh, proud of that accomplishment. So. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of a big deal. It's just as yeah. big as, like I said, like, I've definitely seen clips where you brought, you know, big pythons on national television, and that's yeah. kind of a big deal as well, I think. Yeah. You know? It's nice to have that kind of ex positive kind of exposure. Yeah. How, how did you l end up in that situation? I, uh, I got a call one day from Jack Hanna when I was driving down the road, and he said, uh, uh, the zoo is looking for a big uh, python. And I said, you want a big python or you want a really big python? He said, well, I, I want a really big one. And I said, okay, I've got a big retic. He said, well, we're opening a new Asia exhibit at the Columbus Zoo, and we'd like to have that. So he said, uh, "You want to sell it?" And I said, "Well, no, I don't. I had a big, I had a big uh, tiger reticulated python, 300 pounder, big. Ooh, that's it, big. It really one of the biggest snakes, maybe the biggest snake I've ever seen, uh, a Guinness World Record holder, big. And uh, I said, I, I don't really want to sell it, but I'd, I'd let you use it for the opening and uh, lease it to you for a while. So I leased it for a year, and then after a year, they said." You know, that snakes kind of become important to, over here at the zoo and to the people of Columbus, and uh, will you sell it? So we came to a deal, and I sold that big big snake. So uh, anyway, uh, you asked me how I got on TV. Uh, Jack Hanna said, uh, you're going to bring it up to the zoo. Why don't we stop off at the Letterman show, and I, I'm doing a show, and you can come on and bring that snake. So 
uh, I said, sure, I'll, I'll be on national TV. <laughs> so we did that, and, and, and really for the next, we did uh, many, many times on, on uh, Letterman. It was, it was nice to go to New York and, and uh, be on TV. It was fun, and uh, uh, did it several times. Yeah, it was a big deal. Well, what, what, if, what effect do you think that had as far as, uh, like, how did the, the show go? TV is so different probably in the process of doing it versus what ends up going out. Uh, to... it, was, uh, it was easy. It seemed to flow well. You know, it's, uh, they, they record it, but you don't change anything. You just go do it. And, uh, and uh, we um, hauled the big girl out there and put her on the floor and, and, uh, and uh, admired her and talked a little bit about uh, snakes and Maybe you got some people to realize that they're not the evil creatures. That they're... Yeah, maybe because you know she's very well behaved and she sat there on the stage and did what she's supposed to do. And, uh, so that, w- that was good. It's awesome. Well, yeah. I know you got some snakes here. Let's see if they're able to be as well behaved. I know the babies maybe they haven't been trained yet for that type of stuff, but well, let's see. I mean, you're still you know however long that was ago that you were producing those animals, you still got you're still kind of on the cutting edge with a lot of stuff. Yeah, the Pied project, the Pied Burmese project, the uh, yeah yeah, and then what I you know the, the blue hypo that I find mind blowing. Well, we can start with that because he's on top of my bag here. So the first time I saw one of these, I I was I, I'm not any long when I was first getting reticulated pythons, I was thinking I might want to breed them. That was kind of the original plan. Yeah. And then as I moved into like some educational stuff and this and that, I decided. Might not be in my best interest to be trying to do that with that many snakes. I'm just not set up for that. And but, but this before before I decided not to breed them. This was this is kind of what I had my sights on. Was a yeah. Well, this is a new, a new trait. Originally, it was uh, it came from Indonesia. This individual also has the the fire uh, trait in it, platinum. And it's not a tiger, but it, the the hypos want to be kind of stripy, so. You can see that in there, but it's got good color, nice. Yeah, and blue blue hypo is a, nice a good one because like like obviously it's hypo melanistic. It's yeah. missing some of the some but not all of the the melanin, and it's leaving behind where it would have been black. It's kind of that that deep blue, like maybe yeah, a, kind of a dark purplish color. Man, these these iPhones do a pretty fantastic job of capturing stuff. I mean, the good lighting helps, but man, I feel like I should have been doing this a long time ago using the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long ago did Blue Hypo come in into play? This is a few uh, years ago, but a few a few years ago, but there haven't been very many made, and and uh, uh, whose fault is that? Is my fault. <laughs> I I uh, I uh, didn't get off to a, a very quick start with these things, but anyway, well, looks, nice people like them. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Got some good shots of that one. Okay, good. What else can I show you? Um, I, th- I know you got a really good looking motley pied in that bag. Yep, I do. I've got, a, I've got a nice little bag full of snakes here. There's a nice motley pied here. And it's got some character. Is, is yeah, the motley a-, a big factor in getting as high white as a snake is? It, 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 uh, I'm learning about this as I go, but it seems like it may help uh, increase the, um, the amount of white. I think it... Uh, uh, affects the pattern and uh, it's there I, I can tell motley pied better by their head but when they have a white head it's a little more difficult so I'm not I'm just, like I say I'm learning as I as I go but this snake has a motley pied father and uh, a ooh, let's see it has a, a tiger het pied mother and it's white on both ends yeah I know we're People oh. were wondering, oh, there you go. He's getting a little, uh, maybe ready for f- some meals or telling you, hey, I, I, I'm done being on this table under these lights. I yeah. think it's time for me to get out of here, <laughs> which I can I can appreciate. I can appreciate that. Okay, and then we got, um, there's a Super Phantom. Now, the nice thing about Super Phantoms, that I, as far as I'm aware, is that... They live. For, they live. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> uh, some of the... Uh, well, I, I guess the uh, the super fire leucistic uh, is not really viable. Yeah, they but, have a lot uh, of digestive issues. Yes. But but the super phantoms, um, very similar in appearance, um, but with blue eyes instead of black eyes, they uh, they do very well. 
Is this a guy or girl going into a shed a little bit here, it looks like, maybe? Yeah, this one has uh, has just recently shed. In fact, it just hatched and ha had its first shed this morning, so. Give you a hand here. Yeah, say we get the, the last snake out, we'll get those guys back in so they're not going to escape. Okay, and all then, right. So go with that. The notoriously easier to film and keep in a bag snakes. Yes. That uh, is a uh, pastel scaleless ball python. And... Uh, if you haven't felt one, they feel great. Yeah, they do feel great. They're yeah. soft and feel very nice and easy. Yeah. H have you had, I've had some people wondering, have you had success with ha having a male scaleless lockup as of yet? Uh, this is my first season to try and I haven't had it yet, but I'm just, just trying that. It's so interesting looking. There's such a, you know, people, people get it seems like people are either very very much interested in it or very much against scaleless. Well, I don't snakes. know how anybody can be against it. They're wonderful things. I, they're really good animals. I think that any given issue, you can find somebody who's willing to be completely yeah, on the other side. there's somebody on both sides of everything, yep. I guess. That's true. <laughs> you you oh, win. Boy. You No, you win. This is the only snake to pee on the... Oh. <laughs> is it? Okay, well... Sorry about that. No, no, no. That, that's not your fault. Well, and it's, it's not. not it's not even the snake's fault either. It's, it's not always coming either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't apologize, Bob. <laughs> I. You know what? I, it's actually probably there are going to be a lot of people that enjoy that little moment when I do well, the when I do the educational shows with the kids. Like everybody's oh yeah, kids favorite moment. Oh, kids yeah. love it, dude. And I think the more that that's the important group to get to love animals like this are the, are the kids i think you would agree like that's where best thing generation we need that's to. that's right yeah and if we can get them love it if, if it takes a snake pooping for the kids to get excited about it hey i say let the snake poop all <laughs> over the table <laughs> i was giving a talk to some kids one time and uh and at the same time the snake uh pooped on my leg it bit me on the neck it was a big, a big retic, and it bled like I, 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 I had to go change my shirt. It bled so much, but the kids they never noticed that. <laughs> all it, all they were interested in was poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think I maybe I never really grew up because I, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I got him in the neck, but oh, look at uh, that poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, Bob, I, I appreciate you taking a moment out of your time okay, at the show I'm to come sit down with us. Happy man. to do it. Yeah, thank you very much, man. <laughs> okay. I appreciate Thanks, Brian. you. Thank you. A uh, big thank you again to Bob for taking some time away from his booth to come sit down with us for a moment to speak. And speaking of thank you to Bob for taking some time away, we're going to be having a Zoom call with Bob tonight, the day this video went out. And if you want to pop in and, and put a face to a name for yourself with Bob and maybe ask him some questions and, and pop into the Zoom call, we do them every week with our guests on Patreon. And the link is down in the description if you want to do that. So I hope to see you guys tonight. You guys take care, and we'll see you next week for the next show. All right. Take care. So you work for, like, a specific brewery? Miller Coors. Miller Coors. Yeah. That's a pretty big brewery. Modelo Corona. Yeah. So. And where's the beer at? Oh, I got too many snakes. <laughs> well, you can't have too many snakes, but I got too many at once in my hand. It's funny because for some people, one snake is too many snakes, but if, yeah. if one isn't too many, then yeah, nothing th is. Then nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's killer, man. It's yeah. killer. Let me make sure I actually. I did hit record. Okay, it's an good. important <laughs> an important factor that it's every now and then I forget to do, but not this time. Um, your name in reptiles is a, is a big deal, I think. I mean, well, I like to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a lot of a lot of some of the first first animals. You, well, you were you were involved at the beginning of. I, I feel like I've seen. Did, did you did you or did you not bring some big snakes onto like national television at one point? Yeah, I did. Are we did doing it? it? Um, yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> wait, sorry. <laughs> okay. I, Let's start over then. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is my hair good? We're ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's it's uh it's I try to keep it as low key as possible. <laughs> I make okay. people feel. Like, okay.